Lenny Coyne, how may I help you? I called earlier. I was going to see if I could get a little bit more than the maximum. Did Can I give you my name or anything like that? Like, are they working on it? I kind of need the money quickly. Okay, Go what ahead, amount you are in? No, 10000 so I need ten thousand dollars. What happened is my dragon escaped. His name is Paul, and I need to pay this lady. Uh, Gwendolyn is like the best private investigator uh, this side of the Mississippi, and she could find my dragon. He escaped. I had a uh, best friend. He was a midget. We called him Chocolate Chip, and now he's a dragon jockey. He flew off with my dragon. God knows where they are. And I met this private investigator, Gwendolyn, and I'm going to pay her the ten thousand dollars, and she promises me she'll find this dragon. Even if she's got to trace them all the way to the streets of Calcutta, she promised me she would find this dragon. So you're saying I could get 10000 No problem? Go ahead, please. Can you hear me? Rundy, are you there? Okay, listen, listen to me now. Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? Everything's going to be truth. Uh, right. Go ahead, please. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, last, tell me the last four of her social. Oh, absolutely. Why wouldn't I give that to a scamming bitch? I mean, you're legit, right? It's not like you're in an Indian call center somewhere. You're a real, uh, real lone person. You can help me find my dragon, you stupid bitch. Why are you still on the phone with me? Why are you still on the phone with me? Learn some fucking English before you try to scam some people. You're an idiot, Rundy. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. You are bloody Indian. You are a bloody Indian. There you go. You hate me because I know you're a scammer. I'm a filthy American, right? No, you are a bloody Indian. I'm a bloody Indian? That's yeah. a new one. I'm going into the store and I'm putting you in my pocket. All right? I'm going to buy some cigarettes. If I hear you chirping away, making some crazy runny noise from my pocket, we're going to have a problem. What are you doing? What kind of noise is that? You got COVID? You have rich. And numbers. why aren't you in uniform? Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, please. You have rich landing point. How can I help you? Hey, what's up, you dumb fuck? My refrigerator is leaking. Is it possible to get a loan? I might need a whole new refrigerator. Go ahead, please. That's how you ask for a loan? You come back. You From an Indian criminal scammer who doesn't really know the first thing about financing? Absolutely. Learning point, how may I help you? Hey, can I get a loan? I want to buy a million black jelly beans. Go ahead, please. Rundy? Thank you for calling Learning Point. How may I help you? Oh, you sound so nice and sweet, but you're a miserable criminal. You're a fucking scammer. Go home. This isn't for you. Put the phone down. Take a glass of water. Thanks for calling Landing Point. This is Dexter Martin. How may I help you? How are you, man? What's going on? It's been a day. I'm going to call you all goddamn day again today. You're getting yeah, flooded, so bitch. You're getting flooded, bitch. What do you mean, yes, sir? Do you not know English? I'm fucking with you. Hang up the fucking phone already. Tired of you. I'll call you right back. You cannot block me or my friends. Fuck you. Stop scamming people. Hang up the fucking phone. Go ahead, please. You motherfucker. There we go. I, I needed to hear that. Again, again and yep. again, I fuck you. <laughs> You're learning English. You're learning English. I'm getting proud of you. Go ahead, please. Tell me more. Lenning Point, how may I help you? Hey, I called before. Any luck on finding my dragon or my midget? My dragon's name was Paul and the midget was Chocolate Chip. Any luck on that? You have reached Lending Point. How can I help you? Hey, I called before. I was trying to get extra money to pay off a private investigator. We were looking for my dragon. This is Jack. Go ahead, please. From credit specialist. How are you yep. today? I'm okay. Listen, I could really use the help here. I, I'm like, a, I guess you would say obese. I'm about 500 pounds. I play Santa Claus in the mall. I recently got involved with one of my elves, my helpers. 
Um, and he ran off, and he destroyed my credit. Chocolate Chip is his name. I don't know if you guys help fix credit reports or not, but he damaged my credit. He's charging up airplanes and dinosaurs and dragons. This Chocolate Chip guy is a lunatic, man. Can you help me? Go yeah. ahead, please. Oh, thank you so much. Well, before... Hello? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, before proceeding further, I would like to inform you that this call is being recorded for quality and training purposes. Do I have your permission to proceed? Who's listening? Who, who's recording it? Well, my company would be recording this call. Are you sure they all work for the company? It's, it's not chocolate chip because he's a little hacker, this guy. I mean, he got into everything I own, and he changed my passwords. He took over my social security number. He just charged up everything. Like I said, he was buying up dinosaurs and dragons and space shuttles. He even bought the Statue of Liberty. Do you believe that? He, I, I saw on my credit card statement the Statue of Liberty was purchased. What is he going to do with the Statue of Liberty? Go ahead, please. Okay, to begin with, I need to verify a few details. Sure. Let me ask you a few questions, okay? Yeah, then I got some for you as well. Go ahead, please. Do you have a source of income to cover your monthly expenses? That's your employed, self-employed, or do you have any benefits? Do I have what to cover my monthly benefits? I'm just asking you that. Do you have your cover of your monthly expenses? So are you employed, are you self-employed, or do you have any social benefits? I'm self-employed. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I have a jelly bean farm. I grow jelly beans, and I sell them to the local stores in uh, upstate New York. Um, okay. All kinds of jelly beans. People don't normally like the black yeah. jelly beans as much as they do the red and the pink and the green, but we, we've had some success okay. last year. I mean, I grossed about $30,000 last month in, in jelly bean profit. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, can you just, can you just help me with your physical address? Uh, it's 86 in York. Okay. Uh, that's Manhattan. Okay. And uh, try uh, 10012. I haven't been down there since Nam. I, I'm okay. kind of living upstate at the moment, and I have so many different zip codes. Yeah, I, 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 I might be off on number. I'm sorry? Yeah, can you, just help me with your, can you just help me with your zip code? I just did. I think it's 10012. Okay. I haven't been there since Nam is what I'm telling you. I, I have another place upstate New York um, in, okay. in kind of like okay. the uh, Syracuse area, if you know New York okay. at all. I don't know where you're from. Where are you guys based out of? Okay. Well, I'm currently located at San Francisco and California. Oh, how is it out there? I was just out that way. Okay. Do you have any negative, uh, negative items on there your credit report? That do you have? Sorry? Go ahead, please. I'm listening. I'm hanging in there with you. Any negative items on your credit report? Lots of negative items. This guy, this lunatic, chocolate chip, the uh, the elf that I was romantically involved with. Not only did he uh he he used to be perfect size for goosing me. You know, every morning I would wake up, I would get a nice goose. Let me tell you about that. The goose felt amazing. He would just goose me from behind. The little little dwarf that he is. But he ran off, and, and like I said, he took my credit cards, my social security card. He took everything, and he charged up. Everything, my friend. Uh, we're talking dragons and dinosaurs and space shuttles. The Atlantic Ocean he bought. He bought the Statue of Liberty. He's the real culprit. He took off in a red Toyota. I don't know where this guy is right now. I just saw your number and figured we can help fix my credit. What? Do you have? Go ahead. Do you have any credit score? How much is your credit score? What? My credit score? How? Yeah. How I don't know. Credit score? Pick a number between 1 and 10. I'm sure it's around 9, maybe, or 8. Who knows how much more damage this guy did. He's in the south border of Texas just living it up with my drugs and my car and my social security number, and he just ruined my credit. Like I said, he bought dragons. You know how much a dragon costs? A dragon. A dragon that breathes fire that's only in the movies. Why are you still on the phone with me? Did you run out of English, or are you really just, just this stupid? Go ahead, please. The phone number that is linked with your account? Absolutely. It's the one on your caller ID. But listen to me. Besides phone numbers and, and names and all that nonsense, 
I really need to put in a complaint. What the hell kind of zoo are you running over there? The panda bears are perverted. Perverted panda bears. Were you ever goosed by a panda bear? Go ahead, please. Ma'am? But uh, yeah. all I was doing was look, looking the other way, um, having a little bit of popcorn, and, and I felt something, a little bit of a tickle down there, and I turn around, and this great big panda bear is goosing me from behind. Why would a panda bear want to touch my tickle stick like that? He's a perverted panda bear. I don't think you know you guys can get in big trouble that you have perverted animals in the zoo. Go ahead, please. Sir, you have reached Credit One Bank. Oh, my God, you're not the crazy zoo? 